Hey guys, it's Michael from Hollow Thrills back with another video and today we'll be tackling yet another local park and trying to figure out what could be coming next in 2022 as far as additions of like attractions or or other things at the park. Now for this episode we'll be covering Six Flags Great Adventure. It's a local park of mine in Jackson, New Jersey for those who, of you who don't know. And before we cover anything about that park, please make sure that you are subscribed and have the bell notifications turned on to get notified whenever I post a video. And also make sure that you're following both my Instagram and my Twitter. The links for them are down in the description. You can follow both of them so you can get some more content. So 2021 was a big year for Six Flags Great Adventure with two brand new attractions opening up at the park. One being the Jersey Devil Coaster and one being the Little Devil Coaster. Both of those attractions were well received by the community. The Jersey Devil Coaster being my favorite out of the two. Unfortunately, I didn't get a ride on the little Devil Coaster, but maybe next year. Now, both of these attractions were great additions to the park and provided something new, not only to the park, but also to the region as it brought the first RMC Raptor to the East Coast. Now, with a major attraction like that just opening up last year, I don't expect anything big to be coming to Six Flags this year, but that doesn't mean that we won't be seeing any changes in the park. Now, the first thing that I that I see when I think of Six Flags and what it needs for this year is a little bit of TLC, a little bit of tender loving care. It desperately needs some maintenance on a lot of the major attractions at the park. And that could be in just new trains, new retracks, something like that. Or it could mean something a little bit simpler like a repaint. Now it has already been confirmed by Six Flags that there are a couple attractions that are already receiving repaints this year. The first being Batman the Ride, which was seen to already be receiving repaints back in Holiday in the Park of 2021. So different parts of the attraction were already being repainted while Holiday in the Park was going on. And also another attraction that was already seeing it being repainted during Holiday in the Park was Bizarro. But not the normal repaint that you'd normally see on attraction where they just keep the same paint. No, this looks like an entire color change and re-theme for Bizarro, which is not uncommon with that attraction as when it opened in 1999, it was initially called Medusa but then was repainted and rethemed in 2009 to be Bizarro. Now it's looking like in 2022, it's going to be rethemed and repainted again to another theme. Now, like I did say, it was closed in during the holiday in the park and so was that side of the park, but there are pictures that did surface of parts of the track being painted green as well as the supports being painted orange which is a very weird color combination as Six Flags Great Adventure did put out a little bit of a teaser regarding this attraction, or at least what people thought. As you can see right here, it says to the effect of riddle me this, um, which people thought maybe this attraction will be themed to the Riddler, but orange does not make sense and that color green is just too vibrant, which brings the rumor of this possibly being an Aquaman themed attraction, which Aquaman is a DC character that has not yet been seen theming an attraction at a Six Flags park. There are, is one coming soon to another park, but this would be one of the first ones coming to a Six Flags park themed Aquaman. Now, besides those two confirmed repaints coming for the 2022 season, there is one other attraction that I 100% think needs a repaint desperately and that would be an attraction who has had the same original coat of paint since it opened in 2001. And that would be Nitro. Yes, that is right. Nitro has had the exact same original paint on the coaster track since it opened in 2001, which means that those tracks are looking pretty crusty, pretty sun bleached. It just does not look as shiny and new as it did when it opened originally. And I, for one, can definitely, definitely tell that. So I think that Nitro, if any of the other coasters, needs this repaint this year. I don't care if it goes down for, for two months, three months, four months. I just need that attraction to get a, a fresh coat of paint. It would just make that entire section now with that brand new shiny coaster back there. It will make it look a whole lot better 
and tie that whole back half of the park together a little bit better. Now, other than that, there is another attraction that will be coming back this year. Now, it was confirmed a couple weeks ago by Six Flags Great Adventure on their Instagram and their Twitter that El Toro is in the final stages of being able to return to the park for opening day. Now, this is pending state uh, and inspections on a whole bunch of approvals to allow it to get off of the ban list and come back and be safe for people to go on it. But it has been rumored that it has been testing since October, since uh, November, since the latter half of 2021. So I have high hopes that this attraction will be ready to go for opening day of 2022. All right, with that all out of the way, now let's talk about some rumors and speculation. So there is only one really big rumor that I've been hearing throughout the beginning of this year of what could be coming to Six Flags, and that would be an addition or an expansion of the Bugs Bunny National Park towards the back half of the park in the Wild West area. That area is in desperate need of either more attractions or newer attractions, something added to the park for kids to do. Because it has been a conversation and an argument for a long time of the amount of kids attractions that are at the park. And I for one think that if they were to expand this area that would definitely bring in more families and bring in more profit for the park so i think that this would be a great idea for them to expand the bugs bunny national park now like i said that is the only major rumor that i've been hearing this year and i really hope that it does come true because like i said it brings another crowd in other than thrill seekers like myself but let's talk a little bit about some speculation Speculation for our possible next roller coaster announcement, our next major project for the park. And I think that we could have another coaster announcement for something coming in 2023, if not 2024. It goes along the lines of a coaster manufacturer who has done stuff with Six Flags in the past, now signing a new contract with the Six Flags company to open more coasters in their parks. And that being B&M. B&M just signed a contract with Six Flags to open up some more coasters in the parks, including one that is opening up in 2022 at Six Flags Fiesta Texas, that being Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger. This coaster looks amazing, and personally, it's, it's making me feel like I kind of want to take a trip down to Texas to go to that park because that coaster looks fantastic and is a B&M dive coaster, which is something that is more unique than you think. A B&M dive coaster is something that I could see fitting really well into Six Flags Great Adventure, so I think that that could possibly be our next coaster coming to the lineup. But I do think that we might have to end up losing a coaster to get this to come to the park, which I'd be perfectly fine with because there's one in particular that I could see it would be replacing. That being the coaster near the boardwalk, that nice green colored coaster known as the Green Lantern. I think that plot of land would fit perfectly for a dive coaster, and I think a nice B&M floorless dive coaster could be a good replacement for a stand-up coaster. Is that possible of happening? How many people actually enjoy Green Lantern? Like I said, I for one am not one that enjoys the Green Lantern, but I do enjoy a B&M dive coaster as Griffin at Busch Gardens is a fantastic coaster. Do I think that this could be coming? Maybe. Do I think another B&M coaster of some sort could be coming to the park next? Absolutely. But the major push for this is the fact that it could bring in more guests and push more guests through than a stand-up coaster can. Overall though, like I said, I expect 2022 to be a very quiet year for Six Flags Great Adventure. Not a lot of major projects going on, just a lot of maintenance and repaints just because the park desperately needs it. But maybe, maybe Six Flags will bless us with some sort of announcement of another attraction coming soon within the next couple years this year. But if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you drop a like and also comment down below what do you think could be coming to Six Flags this year? I'd really like to hear your opinions on that. But as always, I'm Michael, Desmond Hall Thrills, and I'll see you guys next time.